What's up guys and welcome back to another video and yes I haven't done a couple videos in a couple days or in a video in a couple days because yes it's Christmas it's busy everybody's doing their holiday festivities with their families and so forth like that so obviously I am doing the same as well but I decided to make a video today because I've had some kill time and I got something cool from my brother and I have to share it with you guys because I love cosplay I love all these little gizmos and gimmicks and like iron reactors and helmets and so forth like that but I really didn't think I was ever going to get one of these and I thought it was pretty cool because I've always wanted these and who doesn't want these in the movie but the Edith glasses that were in Iron Man, Avengers, uh, Infinity War, Endgame and in Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, so these are the ones that he uses in the, in the, in the movie and then when uh, Peter Parker gets them as well in Far From Home. But what right now, right here, we're going to take a look at these. Um, pretty much how my brother made the box. Um, print, or made this whole entire kit and where you guys can get it. So guys, grab a chair, pull, or gra pretty much grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we take a look at the Edith glasses from Avengers Endgame, Fitting War, and Far From Home, or Spider-Man Far From Home. So guys, the glasses right off the bat are super nice lightweight and they are blue obviously if i take my hat off which oh my hair is definitely on not on fleek right now um but this is what they look like i love the blue tint to them obviously the blue tint is also in spider-man when you when he gets ready to use the glasses and so forth like that when he's entrusted by iron man or aka tony stark with them after his death the reason why they're called edith if you have not watched the movie Pretty much that's pretty sad if you have not watched the movie. But Edith, Tony Stark loves his acronyms. So Edith stands for Even Dead, I Am the Hero. Which definitely in the, in the theater, everybody was laughing and so forth like that. Because that, the, the acronyms are pretty much funny and they're to the point And overall they're funny. But the, also the cool thing is he gets these not necessarily from Iron Man right away. But he gets them after his... Uh, I wouldn't say demise, but is after his heroic death in Avengers Endgame, he gave these to Nick Fury, which Nick Fury just was able to give these to um, Spider-Man in Far From Home because he was entrusted by Stark. And it says on this little postcard that my brother made as well, um, I do see that it has come in also different packages as well. It's kind of like a little um, quirky um, cosplay kind of thing, but it says... For the next Tony Stark, I trust you, P.S. Say Edith, T.S. So I thought that was kind of cool because it was in the movie, but it would have been kind of cool if you could say Edith and the lights go on like as in pretty much Peter Parker as you see right here. Um, pretty much knowing you have access to all Stark Industries weapon defense systems. Um, telecommunications and so forth like that. So it's definitely kind of cool. I mean, and I think they said set over 700 drones. That's how, if you watch, uh, I'm wa looking for the fandom page of what Edith um, was designed for and so forth like that. I do know from the movies, but I just want to make sure I have a little cheat sheet here. But um, he has access to over 700 drones, um, defense drones, and then actually Beck, um, which plays... Um, Mysterio uses the glasses to end up creating the um, what do they call it the elemental fusion monster to make it look like uh, he was destroying London and so forth. That's how you get those elemental um, beings in the video and so forth like that. That um, Ma or not Magneto? I keep wanting to say Magneto. Mysterio kept using to show that he was the new hero, but instead. He, uh, he was actually the villain, which we all know. If you love the comics, uh, Mysterio was the, always the vis or always the villain, but used illusions to show his skills, as you will. But then Beck gets a hold of these because Spider-Man doesn't feel like he is worthy of these glasses after he accidentally almost kills one of his um, <laughs> prior. Uh, or former um, students or 
whatever have you. Um, he accidentally almost killed them, so he was pretty much stating that maybe I should just give these up to somebody that is more responsible, more honest, and so forth like that, who could be the next Tony Stark. And Spider-Man at the time did not think that was him, so he handed these over to Beck, a.k.a. Mysterio. And then all hell broke loose. Beck and Mysterio, or when I say Beck, I mean Mysterio, he used these glasses to pretty much wreak havoc, pretty much start his chaos and so forth like that, and creating the elemental fusion monster that you see at the end of um, Far From Home, Spider-Man Far From Home. And then finally, Spider-Man uses his, te or his Peter Tingle, as you will, and then finally gets the glasses back after Mysterio ends up pretty much killing himself um, by one of the drones shooting him and so forth like that and he gets the glasses back so but overall the glasses themselves are super cool they look exactly like the, in the video there are some places that you can buy them you can buy them from eBay you can buy them from wish you can buy them from Amazon and so forth like that pretty much in any search engine you pretty much go into or even Google you type in Stark Edith glasses or even Stark glasses because he has ones from other Iron Man's two or I, other Iron Man movies, but these ones are the pretty much the most iconic ones that you know if they're going to be him his or not. And I'm looking at them right now, and they ra pretty much range between twelve and thirty dollars, depending on if you just want the glasses, if you want a box that comes with it. The card my brother made, it also comes with a little cleaning glass as well. My brother was going to put the logo on the front of it, but he was having a terrible time trying to get the wax, this wax seal put on it. But even overall, the box is super awesome. Definitely a nice little touch. Um, and then the glasses just go inside and fit in there perfectly. So no dust gets on it. If you do want to display it, that'd be definitely cool to put on top of the, the box there if you take them off. And put them on top of there or whatever have you. Because I am planning on using these. But I also want to make sure I take care of them. Because they are still, to my point of view, a heir, I wouldn't say heirloom. But heirloom is something you get passed down. But something that you display to show off your collection. Like my arc reactors and helmets and so forth like that. But I want to keep these because they're Edith glasses. I think it would be kind of cool to have like a little laser or a little button that turns it on. But it's getting a little bit more in technical and getting way more advanced and definitely the price would go up. But these are the Edith glasses as you guys can see. Perfectly very lightweight. It's silver on black. Other There are other colors. I see um, black. Um, where the lenses are, I see red where the lenses are, I see yellow where the lenses are. So if you're not necessarily wanting to go completely Starked out or completely Peter Griffin, if you if you even look at Starks right here, they're all blacked out. So maybe he's not he doesn't have Edith on right now or using her. But if you look at Peter Parker, he's actually got it turned on where you can see the blue. So I'm wondering if that's where you get the blue tint just to make it look like it is on. Whatever have you. I'm also seeing a, another darker version where it looks like it's completely blacked out. And that's dulger kind of looking. But overall, you can get different color lenses. I will link those. I will put Ebay's on, Wishes on, and Amazon's links down below. So if you guys, guys, guys decide after my review that you guys, hey, I want one of these glasses. If they range between 12 and 30 bucks, why not? I mean, these glasses, I mean, what are you going to lose? You look like Stark. You guys can see it through my thumbnail. I look a little bit like Stark and Peter Griffin, or not Peter Griffin. Wow. Um, Peter Parker. So guys, make sure you guys grab one of these because these are super cool. And I am also not in fact being sponsored by this at all. I just like reviewing nerd products and so forth like that. So I can purchase them and have fun with them. And then you guys can make the determination or the choice in buying these or not definitely another choice uh, one of my my uh videos is just blowing out of the water lately is the iron man nano glove that video and i did a review on that i will link that video down below but this was another review i did and it's just blowing out of the water it's almost to a thousand views which i can't fathom um so guys check out that video or that view 
or that video because I pretty much on this channel do reviews on products. If it's not nerd stuff, it's Funko Pops. If it's not that, it's Try Not To Laugh Challenges, Fortnite, Modern Warfare Montages, and so forth like that. This channel is completely blowing up and getting out, out there. And I can't thank it enough for you guys that have done so. If so, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys like, comment, and share the video. If you guys like the glasses, if you guys would like a different color, or if you even like the video, why not? Because these glasses are freaking awesome. So why not? And then share the video so I can get my videos out there. And there are so many of you guys I am reaching, which thank you very much for even taking the time to either click on the video or even watch the video for a few minutes. But if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to get this video out there. And plus, it is free to subscribe. So why not subscribe to the Zawoki channel right there. And then hit the red bar icon so you guys never miss a video. Because I pretty much post daily, if not every other day. There are exceptions for holidays and so forth like that. Because obviously, I'm still a family man and I love to be with my family. So I'm pretty much posting on the regular. And why not? It's totally fun stuff. And what are you going to lose? There's, it's free. So make sure you guys subscribe. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by 2020. But if I don't get there, that's obviously okay. I'll just keep grinding and keep giving you guys good content. So let's get uh, that 1,000 goal. And then after that, 10,000. So, so guys, thank you very much for watching about the Edith glasses. Let me know, like I said, down below if you guys like the glasses, if you like a different color whatever have you, what would you guys like me to review next? I wouldn't say I'm running out of content, but I want to make sure I tend to you guys. If you guys want to look at lightsabers or more nerding stuff, let me know down in the comments and I will do a review on that product. Either buy it, purchase it, review it, whatever have you, I will do so. Guys, So guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what I just have asked and we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real, keep it safe, and we'll see you guys next time. Edith out.